Well, Hasty Bake was started in 1948 by Grant Hastings. Um, he had come back from the war and was just became real uh, fixated on cooking and wanted to design kind of a, a product that, that uh, he thought no one else had. And he developed the Hasty Bake, and it was, uh, for its time, it's very innovative. Uh, it's still innovative now, which I think is amazing because in a lot of respects it hasn't changed at all. But Grant had a wild history. I mean, he he was a marketer, uh, you know, as good a marketer as there was. Uh, you know, and Hasty Bake was sold in Neiman Marcus and Sears and all the big stores. Uh, Grant just traveled all across the country uh, promoting the grill and did really well, you know, in the 60s and 70s was probably, excuse me, in the 50s and 60s was when it was really strong. It been, but unfortunately about the 70s when the gas grill came out that became popular and charcoal sales started to uh, fade away and so uh, finally in about 1980, 84 I believe Grant finally sold it. There had been a big fire in 1980 and uh, you know since then it's kind of always been, our market's been as a small niche, uh, kind of as the premier charcoal grill and that's kind of uh, how it's been marketed since then. Uh, there's not a lot of charcoal grills on the market, so we've been lucky. And then even more recently, the charcoal grills become kind of a fad, more people wanting to cook and smoke and do things that you really can't do on gas grills. So lately, that part of the business has taken back off, and uh, so we've kind of been in a fortunate position. But really, it's all based on Grant's design. It's just a fabulous design, and that's kind of why we're still here. Well, the manufacturing, when we brought all that in-house uh, about five years ago. We used to farm out most of the sheet metal work, but essentially what we do is we take the raw material, the sheets, most of our stuff is 18 gauge or 12 gauge stainless or cold rolled, and we, we cut them on our laser, um, and that cuts out the flat pattern. That then goes to a, uh, a press break where we actually bend them and form them into the shape they need to be. From there, most of the parts go to spot welding, which uh, is where we basically are welding the componentries together to make the base or make the hood. There's some other processes where we do some MIG welding and other things like that. But if it's stainless, it goes straight to the assembly bay. We, it's not really an assembly line, it's more kind of a batch operation. We'll typically build six to ten units at a time in that one bay. And then finally it'll go to our finished goods area where uh, you know, we're either going to ship it out or it's delivered locally.